Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to the Bible Bistro. This is Daily Dose Radio. And in the Bible Bistro, don't forget now we have other things here besides just Daily Dose Radio. We also have the Creek Road Baptist Pulpit, and we have the School of Wisdom Podcast. I hope you'll check both of those out. Go over to YouTube, check those out, hit that subscribe button so you'll find those in your feed. Every time you uh, look at your feed, you'll see when I've uploaded a new podcast. Of course, Daily Dose Radio comes to you every day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. Today we're looking at verses 10 through 12. We hear again in these verses some interesting voices, and I'm going to suggest that these voices could be several individuals. I love this part of the uh, part of this 92nd Psalm. Because here we said in verse 4 we had the psalmist or the worshiper the leader who was suggesting all the things that he said there in verses 1 through 3. You know, it's a good thing to give thanks, to sing praise. Why? To show forth the loving kindness and the faithfulness of the Lord. How? Upon an instrument of ten strings. And then he gives the list of instruments. And then in verse 4 he says, Lord, you've made me glad through your work. Here's the subject of all of this praise is the works, specifically the works of his hands, all that he's done for Israel, and by extension, we can say all that he's done for the church, because now we look back and we say his works include the cross and the resurrection of Christ. So all of that demonstrates the loving kindness and the faithfulness of the Lord that we had there in verse 2. Then we had this declaration between the brutish man, the fool, the wicked, the workers of iniquity, and the Lord. And now we come to verse 10, and I said yesterday that verse 10 is to be compared with verse 9. The enemies, O O Lord, for thy enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. Now let's look at verses 10 through 12. But my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Verses 10 through 12, you'll notice the enemies of the Lord will perish, but the worshiper here says, you're going to exalt my horn like that of a unicorn. I will be anointed with fresh oil. So he makes a difference here between the enemies of the Lord and himself worshiping the Lord. I've said previously, this is the psalmist, the worshiper, but I would also like to suggest that this is also Messiah. This is his voice, because suddenly we have this exaltation and his authority being exalted and fresh oil being given. I I would say that this also speaks of Messiah and his exaltation over all things. And then verse 11 Mine eye also shall see my desire upon my enemies. Who are the enemies here? Well, in this psalm, if we just stick with this psalm, we look back and we see that the enemies are the enemies of the Lord. So when we have, I will see my desire on my enemies, we have to think that we're hearing the voice of the Lord himself, i.e. the voice of Messiah. Mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. And again, we go back, who are the wicked? Well, the wicked are those who are the enemies of the Lord there in verses 7, 8, and 9. So I think we understand pretty clearly who we're talking about here. And then we shift gears in verse 12. For he then says, he points to the church, whether Israel or in the New Testament time, our time now, we're talking about the church of Jesus Christ. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. I'll say more about that tomorrow because I'm going to lump 12 in with 13 and 14. And then we'll end with this second why here answered in verse 15. Okay, so join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.